Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am coming up with one interesting topic in Odoo accounting that is for deferred expense and deferred revenue. And according to Odoo's update, now when we are setting the master configuration, we can set one single account on deferred expense or deferred revenue. But in general, what consumer, what user or what accountant needs based on the type of product, we need to change this deferred expense or deferred revenue. But it was available earlier in version 16 like deferred expense or deferred you know, revenue models, but now it is discontinued. But how to achieve that with a smart Odoo automation logic that I am going to demonstrate today to everyone. So let's jump to our practical configuration, how we can achieve that. So first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to introduce some more accounts in our category of accounts. That is, this is the standard deferred expense account. And then I have introduced deferred expense insurance and deferred expense internet as a current asset type account. So whenever I am purchasing and registering a bill regarding insurance or internet, this account should be used. Likewise, I wish to, you know, register some of the deferred income also in my account. And then I would like to register deferred income service or deferred income from contract. But the real account which is configured right now is deferred income base account but I want to change the account when I wish to register my deferred income services or contract. So how we can achieve that? So over here, we will simply write some automation rule. So let me explain how it works. So this automation rule will work on journal items because whenever we are creating any deferral entries, it will create journal entries and under journal item, the account which is used will be available and then we will smartly going to write our automation to replace that account after creation with our preferred account. So let's see how we can do it. Okay. So first I would like to, you know, go with any customer billing entry, let's say, or let's say vendor bill where my vendor is internet vendor. So I will create internet vendor that is my first entry and in my internet vendor you know when I am registering any bill the deferred account which should be used should be my new account. So over here let me do that how we can create a new entry. So over here let's say I am going into my vendor and bills. So this is my bill. Let me close that first. So this is my bill from the studio. When I go to automation, I can create, you know, a new entry. So this is journal entry, but I want to create a journal items. So from here, I can directly go from here and I can replace this model to journal item and then I will write my automation rule. So update account in the case of internet service that is my title and I want to trigger you know after creation like this way after creation after one minute I would like to you know update my entry. What domain now I should fill so that it will work. So first the partner should be my internet vendor and second rule the account which I want to replace. So the account which I want to replace is deferred expense over here and then what I need to replace with. So I will write an action based on update record and over here I want to replace my account to deferred expense internet. So this is the simple rule I am writing. Let's verify with my previous rule based on journal item after creation, after one minute of creation where partner is this, account is this, I need to change with that. So here I write similar kind of, you know, uh, 
automation rule to set my uh, previous account and update with the new account so let's see how it works so over here my vendor is there and my product is internet services and then i will define start date and end date so i am defining my start date and end date for three months and i am planning 300 rupees and my bill date is this as soon as i you know confirm this bill Odoo will create this type of deferral entries with my default account that is deferred expense now after few minutes the rule will be triggered and it will replace this account with our automation rule so let's wait till that and meanwhile we can also uh, you know create the deferred income masters so let's do that how we can achieve so over here i can also write a new rule what that rule will be let us you know create one customer so on customer invoices uh, you know i am selling anything to my any customer so customer one will be there but my focus is like i am selling services okay so here internet service is there and i am also selling some services on the basis of my deferral so if i am selling any service worth 1500 for three months then it will create deferral entry okay and then we will write a rule over here a similar way so here the vendor is not in the picture but the account is in picture so what we will write is we will write update service deferral okay and i will move to journal items and my trigger is after creation after one minute of creation what i need to change is i need to change my account which is deferral income and then what i need to change to that account should be deferral income from my services so this is the simple rule i have write over here and now let's check about our vendor bill and this deferral entry it is not updated yet let's wait for some time and it will run the rule and it will automatically update so over here now i am on my customer invoice and confirming his invoice so what happens is deferral income account will hit and then it should change so now four records are there which are coming from all these four entries and then it will also uh, you know change the amount so this is my income and this is my bill so let's wait and then wait the rule to be execute and then it will change my account automatically based on our automation rule so we can achieve this type of automation to write and then achieve a similar kind of uh, you know automation or a model kind of thing which was available in version 16 so we don't need to uh, paint and we can settle down certain things over here directly so let's check that out let me see it will execute in few minutes so my last bill what was that it was here which i created few minutes ago it is still different expenses and different incomes both are there let's wait so this rule will be trigger automatically after a minute because it will take you know some automatic trigger within one minute after its schedule so let's wait for that if we go to you know schedule actions so automation rules are there if i run manually and also coming over here so now you can see different expense is changed to internet from my original and this different 
income is changed to different income services. So this is how the automation rule will trigger and then your account entries will automatically change to your preferred deferral expense or income account according to our configuration and rule of automation. So hope this particular hack will help many people to configure automation rule and achieve the separation of deferral expense and deferral income account from default configuration or master configuration to our own way of handling our accounting in better way. So guys, if you have any query, please uh, uh, reach me on my YouTube, you know, messages or my LinkedIn channel. Thank you guys. Have a good day.